slope graph is a modification of a line chart. We simplify a time series to a starting and ending point, or a before and after time. Your audience can quickly see if values are rising or falling based on the slope of the line, and the steepness of the line helps to show the rate of change between the before and after values being shared. To create a slope graph, first highlight the data you want to be included in the slope graph. The data should be organized with a column for the category, a column for the starting value, and a column for the ending value. Click Insert and select the line chart option. Sometimes, Excel will not translate your data into the chart exactly as you intended. Notice here, our categories are displayed on the x-axis values, when instead we want each of these categories to have its own line in the chart. To quickly fix this, select Switch Row and Column. Now you should have a single straight line for each category. The next step in setting up the line chart is to eliminate any of the extra elements that have been added by default, namely the chart title, grid lines, and legend. Windows users, click on the green plus sign in the top right corner of the chart and deselect these elements. Mac users, you'll find this menu at the top left corner of Excel under the menu called Add Chart Elements. I like to make all of my lines gray so that I can more easily highlight the relevant information. To change the line color, click on any series, and the Format Data Series menu should appear on the right. If it doesn't, you can right-click in any line and select Format Data Series. Under the Paint Bucket option, select a color and choose a medium gray. Do the same for each data series, making sure to use the same shade of gray. To emphasize the start and ending values, we will add markers to the end of each line. To do this, click on a line and access the Format Data Series menu. Under the pink bucket, select Marker, and then expand the Marker Options menu. Choose Built-in, select the marker shape, I suggest circles, and then increase the size of the marker. Try a size of 10 to start. You can always adjust. Double check that the fill of the marker is the same color gray as your line, and then click the No Line option for the border of the marker. Add the data markers to each series. Next, we'll add data labels so you can share the values and category names in your slope graph. Click on the green plus sign, or the Chart Elements menu option, and add data labels. To add in the category name to the line, click on a single data label. Click the label again so the white dots surround it. Then navigate to the Bar Chart option, and under Format Data Label, select the series name. This will display the category for the slope graph line. Do this for each data label on the before side of the chart. If needed, move your data labels for optimal placement. Now you can remove the y-axis, as it is unnecessary because all data points are labeled. You can do this by clicking on the axis and hitting delete. Now, let's make our labels a size that anyone can read them. Click in the chart area, then go to the home menu, and make changes to the font if desired, and increase the size. As the whole chart area is selected, these changes will impact all labels. To change just one set of labels, such as the x-axis, click on the label and make the changes to the font size and color for those labels. Finally, determine what elements of the chart you want to highlight to engage your audience with the data. Change line and marker colors, along with matching the label color to the color of the data series. In this example, the red category stands out against the rest. Consider using a slope graph when you need to show overall change. This chart can be a great tool to offer a quick visual that is easy to interpret by your audience.